You can finally remove objects from your pictures on the iPhone. Let me show you how it works. Before I walk you through it, be sure you subscribe so you don't miss my latest videos or Apple news. So the new feature is called cleanup and you can remove people in the background, errant cars driving past or other objects that could ruin an otherwise great photo. The new feature arrives as part of iOS 18.1, which is as of now in developer beta testing. It's expected to be released in October of 2024, though the release date is still unknown. It also requires Apple intelligence, more on that in a minute, which does limit the list of supported devices. Cleanup tool is only supported on Apple Silicon Macs, M series powered iPads and iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max or later. That will include the iPhone 16 series. Once you've updated to iOS 18.1 and have Apple intelligence turned on, just open the photos app. Now navigate to a photo that you'd like to edit. Here's a recent photo of my son playing at the lake. You can see there is a pool noodle and some toys sitting in the sand. Let's remove some. We're going to hit the edit button here at the bottom of the screen and then tap clean up, which is located there on the right. It's that icon of a little eraser. The first time you go to use cleanup, it needs to download the model. So it will spin for just a while while it downloads and then prepares. After the first time, it's instant to open up the tool. Photos will then analyze the image and colorfully highlight the objects that it thinks looks out of place. So far, this has been hit or miss, but it does work most of the time. As you can see, it picked up on these toys, the noodle, and there's even a dog in the background sniffing around the weeds. Tap on any of these highlighted objects and poof, they disappear. You can see how well it erases all of these. The pool noodle especially was a tough job and you can see it did at a bit of like a, a faux cliff like ridge in the sand, but I think that it looks pretty darn good. Here's another one of Harrison jumping off the dock. I'm just going to go ahead and remove myself from that image. Boom. There you go. You aren't limited to these pre highlighted objects either. You can color in circle or tap other objects to erase them. It works on both big and small objects, at least to varying degrees. Trying to remove something big may not be quite as effective depending on the background and layout of the image. Small objects work better as you can zoom in by pinching and using two fingers to pan around. Maybe you've got a small blemish on your face you'd like to remove, zoom in, tap it, it's gone. Another neat trick with this is to obfuscate faces. Could be for any number of reasons like not wanting to show your child's face on social media or not wanting to share a photo with a stranger in it. Just encircle a face and it'll become pixelated, just hiding them. Cleanup works on any photo on your iPhone, including ones you've taken with your iPhone or taken and imported from a mirrorless or DSLR or even downloaded from the web. I'll say it works very well with Apple Pencil over here on iPad, though you don't need to be super accurate to make it work. It's definitely not necessary. Finally, any photos edited with Cleanup also have it added to the metadata. Same thing if you generated something with image playgrounds coming down the line. Slide up an image here in the photos app. You'll see the date, uh, the camera that it was shot on and that it was AI edited to help prevent misinformation. The reason this is limited to so few devices, at least right now, is because it does use artificial intelligence or Apple intelligence to work. It's one of many Apple intelligence features like writing tools or the improved Siri. If you want to learn more about the updates to Siri, I do have a whole video on that that I've linked here. Typical repair tools that we've seen for a while, like the things in Affinity Photo or tons of other apps, use blurring or cloning patches of patterns to help fill in a photo. What Apple is doing is actually based on a generative AI model, which runs locally on the device, hence the download before running it first. For comparison, Google Magic Eraser also runs on device while Google Magic Editor runs on the servers. Here's a great comparison I've seen shared online recently. Apple's cleanup tool may not be perfect, but it is far, far better than these other on device tools. It doesn't upload your photo to the cloud to process and then send that back down. There's no Wi Fi or internet required and no sharing of your images. It's very private and very fast. Apple in general has taken a very different approach with image editing compared to the competition. With the rise of AI tools, what even counts as an image anymore? It's kind of the question that gets thrown around. Before we could just adjust colors and filters or fix small blemishes, 
Now people are opening closed eyes, adding fields of flowers or fighter jets flying over them in the background. How much of that is the actual photo and how much is just AI generated art? Apple will allow image generation with Apple intelligence, but it's both staying far away from lifelike style as well as adding to photos that you've already taken. The main thing for cleanup is to retain the original intent of a photo and not just completely make up something new or something that didn't happen. It wants your photo to look better without being fantasy. Personally, I think this is the right approach, at least in the first party app. I have no desire to Photoshop a litany of hot air balloons into my son's birthday party scene or have a butterfly land on his head. There's use cases for these things, and I'm also not saying that there's anything wrong with them either, at least inherently. Obviously, there are plenty of other apps on the App Store where you can do just that. It's not banned from the iPhone. You can use AI to create wild scenes and imagery to your heart's content. But Apple isn't doing that. As someone who considers himself a photographer as well as a videographer, cleanup is just what I'm looking for. A little bit of help to remove a random item or to improve the composition of a scene. Some may think cleanup is underwhelming. I think it's awesome. Let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. As always, be sure you subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.